Welcome to Informia's social media conversation for September 4th, 2014. Wow. I'm Nate Manning. And I'm Dustin Hickel. We're just laying back, going to hang out here for a little while, and we're going to look at three different companies. Three companies we've never looked at their social media platforms. Yeah. Like Dustin picks them out, he gets some tips, I get some tips. We're, we're just going to go. It. We're just going to go for it. It's going to be fast, it's going to be high energy, and we're going to give some tips, we're going to give some feedback, and then we want you to get in contact with us and tell us what you think. All this right now in Informia Social Media Conversation. Keep watching. Welcome to Informe, a special conversation. Uh, we don't know exactly what day this is going to come out, but we know today is September 4th, 2014. Yeah. Happy Thursday to you. It's our second recording of Informe this week. How are you, Dustin? Uh, you know what? I'm a little under the weather today, um, but I'm hanging in there and I'm ready to do the show. The weather changed, kind of going up and down. I got a little nasally stuff. I won't go into all of it. It's going to get little... cold on Saturday. I don't know yeah. if you saw, I, but I, I'm planning a, a golf outing on Saturday. and It's going to be like a high of like 64 degrees. All day long. That's wild. That is. Um, hey, it's it's Indiana. It's September. It's a good football day. And yeah, all I gotta say is go blue. Uh, sorry, Notre Dame fans. I know you have some <laughs> Notre Dame affinities over there. Yeah, okay. uh, but I won't. I won't, I won't go into hail to the victors quite yet. <laughs> but you better believe next week after we win, I will do that. <laughs> all right. So this week, it's a, there. This today is our second week of the show. Yeah. Whenever this gets edited and put up, uh, we're doing our hodgepodge. Where you yeah. are bringing it and letting me make some fast, quick insights yep. on these sites. Quick. And uh, we're going to do social media audits, try to figure out what we see. We've never looked at these companies before. The trick here, though, is we got all these companies by searching the database of people that are currently Salcha members yep. and seeing what kind of social media platforms they are on. So, uh, so you we'll guys, reach out to you. But. You guys have already logged into the platform. You already are, are, are part of our team, part of our family. So. This could be really helpful, we hope. All right, so uh, the first one you have for me here, and I'm clicking on it here for Wild this. Alaska Art. Wild, Wild Alaska, Alaska Art. Art. You've got a Facebook, a Twitter, and a Pinterest profile. What do you think? All right, all right. Well, first things here. I, I went to his. I, I went to his Facebook and then got to his website. Website. Uh, let's. First of all, I've been to Alaska once in my life. Cool. Beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, I would love to go back. They uh, have I was really only there for. Salmon. Oh That's my good. word. From halibut, fresh mm -hmm. halibut, right when it came. I was right on the Kenai Peninsula, right there, the Homer Spit. <sighs> and I, oh, that was good. Um, <laughs> now the uh, Wild Alaska are uh, Dan Twitchell. You looks like you're doing a great job. Why? First of all, I don't know nothing about what it takes to sell wild Alaskan art, uh, but I can assume your target audience is people who, one, like fine art, and two, mm -hmm. have some type of interest in wild things, specifically Alaska. I yep. uh, have 1,023 likes, let's look at Facebook. First of all, that image, your photography, I love it when the photographer puts their lens in the profile page, it's them looking through the lens, uh, that's a great way, right away I know that yeah, Wild I Alaska know. Art with Dan Twitchell is obviously all about Wild Alaska Art. Yep. Um, and well, look at that bird, look Man, at that, that duck, that, that his cover photo yeah. is awesome. Beautiful artwork. Shows you the quality of his work right there as soon as you log in, one, boom, you know he's a photographer, two, you see the quality of his work, stunning, really yep. great. Now, it looks like he does um, more than just photography, because uh, I'm assuming this is a portrait of different people. He's doing oil mm -hmm. on linen, I'm scrolling through his Facebook page. Uh, first of all, he seems to be getting 19 likes, not a lot of comments. Uh, in fact, I don't, uh, most, uh, most don't have any comments. A few have one comment mm -hmm. here, okay, and lots then a of repeat likes. content. But lots of likes, people are interacting with you. Uh, great imagery, obviously art gives you that. It links back to the website. Um, I'm gonna look over at his Twitter. He's got 340 people following him, uh, giving an idea of the different things he's working on uh, on August 7th, and looks like a little less active on yeah, the Twitter much side. much less active on the Twitter side. Still posting what looks like some really cool and, and, and beautifully done pieces of art. But yeah, not nearly, not nearly as often. Um, and I'm actually only looking at 75 followers here. I think he's following 340 people. Ah, see, nearly yeah, 75 right. okay. followers. Yeah. So not an act. Not huge, probably but, because he's not as active. You right. know, it kind of bounces out. Now, I, what's interesting here is I would say if I was going to, if someone would walk up and say, "Hey, I sell photography and, and fine art that's based off my mantra, of fine art from Alaska," I would say, "Well, you certainly should be involved in Instagram, and you certainly should be involved in Pinterest." Yep. And obviously, he's involved in Pinterest. And it looks like he has 11 different boards, from horses to fishing to places. Um, he's got things that are art I like, and he's got ones that are just his my artwork, my wild Alaska mm. art. Gorgeous work, Dan. Just gorgeous. Yeah, it's it's 
smart use. And it looks like it's all stuff. Some of it's pinned from Fine Art America, which is like where he's reselling his stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, some's pinned from Etsy, which it looks like he's also selling some things on Etsy and some original prints and originals and prints on Etsy. Uh, yeah, I think he's doing a great job. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. There was nothing that jumped out to me other than if you're going to be involved in Twitter, you've got to be extremely active. Yeah, be I don't know that the art scene is all that popular on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, certainly on photography, I didn't see anything. I'm going to go back and make sure just really quickly mm -hmm. where his website was. There it is. He's yeah, no Google Plus connections. Mm -hmm. uh, Google Plus, if it has one niche where it's extremely successful right now is in the photography yeah, area. Absolutely. And it's a very visual and they do a lot of sales and it has a lot of uh, just to press. I mean you People even get the to opportunity to edit your photos on Google Plus. Google yeah. has built in photo editing software into their social platform. Yeah. So yeah, like you're saying, I mean that's a good spot for him. Um, one suggestion then get on Google Plus, that's the one thing you'd say? Yeah, it's a simple website, he's got galleries. I'd say, ultimately, Dan, you're doing a great job. This, it, it, When you get into really small niches like this, it's all about building community. Mm -hmm. And I would think asking people what they think about your paintings, what they think, and it's it's as an artist Everybody in a very a different a way, and not yeah. at all in this way, but you always feel a little bit threatened when you put your work out there and people can comment on yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of times you don't want to ask for that comment, and you just like that there are enough likes, and it's occasionally, you know, Lexi Lowe here says, incredible job, it looks great on a certain art. That's what you like to hear, but sometimes you say, hey, or giving some more interaction, or maybe you do customize pieces, or um, I, I don't know. I don't know all that you're... Look for getting that interaction, going a little bit deeper. Dig a little bit deeper and learn what people are, what they really want, what they really think, and then that way you can improve right. your product too. Yeah. When I think it says, I'm reading your bio, that you're a longtime Alaska resident and spent many years photographing and painting Alaska landscape and wildlife. What you present is most of us in the lower 48 have not, uh, very minority yeah. of us, ever been to Alaska, but we have this picture of what it is, and really it's what you're creating for mm -hmm. us. And so, but you could bridge into that community as people do that and be able to post those pictures, allowing people to share that. And um, certainly, if you're looking to expand your network, the Pinterest is a great place to go. I would say maybe jump on Instagram. Yeah. Um, if you're well, interested. Maybe be on Instagram. That, yeah. that is just not on his website, right. so we couldn't find it. Right. So, sure. absolutely. And all those things may be true. Mm -hmm. and, and jumping in a little more on Pinterest. But it looks like you, some of these you can buy directly, like the link in the Etsy. That's great. Um, in stock for nine ninety five, pinned right from Etsy, and we can go right over to Etsy, and I could have could buy it this afternoon. Well, it's um, which is a really slick integration. That's where yep. Pinterest is really strong. They have a great great way to do e commerce. All right, do you have any last? Last ones? one is called Two Sisters Boutique, and um, I think the name really describes exactly what they do really well and who they are really well. Um, their website is showing me both a Facebook account, a Twitter account, what looks to be a blogger account, and a YouTube account. Um, so, what do you think? All right, uh, it looks like it's an e-commerce site, not a physical store. It was started by two sisters who have the common love of fashion and want to share their style with the world from concerts, date nights, to girls' night out. Yeah, first of all, the website looks easy to use. I haven't yep. bought anything. Um, I'm not in the, you know... Not in, the, not in this market the right dresses now. Or the skirts or the sweaters uh, some or the shoes. Porter sandals for thirty-eight dollars. Looks like a great deal. I'm gonna add them to my cart. I'm not gonna finish the purchase, but it uh, looks like everything like works. So the really website easy. works really yep. well. Looking at their Twitter and Facebook, which I have loaded up here, um, not a lot of followers. Yeah, yeah I'm looking right, back their, here. Their tweets don't go back very far. Right. Uh, their tweets. They only have twenty-two tweets mm -hmm. since they've been tweeting. It's pretty consistent. August twenty-sixth, twenty-seventh. Yep. Uh, 29th. So I'm assuming this is a fairly new business. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like a new e-commerce business. <clears throat> First of all, I'm just going to look. Great cover photo. It's the images of some of their products. Mm -hmm. uh, and a great, if you're going to use your icon uh, or your profile picture as your logo, they did a great job. Yes, they got a unique, uh, kind of wavy little, you have to look at it, guys. It's kind of swirly. Cute. swirly uh, and they, I like how they play the font also in their website, two, two sisters mm -hmm. uh with their domain name. Uh, looking over at their Facebook, they're using Facebook and Twitter, uh, obviously not looking at different audiences there, uh, have also been active, just posted two hours ago on, um, from Gridley, California. Uh, they're posting pictures, images, uh, they have a few likes. I think they're really a pretty new company. Yeah, I think they're uh, very, very new. The one thing that I'm surprised about, honestly, on their website, 
no Pinterest icon. Yeah. Um, I would think, and I, I would, I would go out on a limb and say I'm pretty sure that they were probably on Pinterest, um, but their icon was not easily found or isn't even on their website at all. So that that was interesting. Yeah. I, I'm shocked not to see that. Um, again, we didn't go out and try to find them on Pinterest. We just took what we had and took what we were yep. given right, right, right in front of us, and this is what we got. So. One suggestion, same suggestion as we had uh, for the Wild Alaska guy, make sure your Pinterest logo is there, his was, theirs wasn't. Make yep. sure your Pinterest logo is on your website, especially when you're so visual like this. Uh, one thing I'm noticing on their website, that when you get into their cart, your emoticon stops appearing. And I just think that's important because as I'm looking at my tabs, I had a hard time quickly finding where you were. Um, that's something a simple developer, whoever is doing your development, looks like built by Volusion, um, they can quickly fix. I'm going to look at your blog. I haven't done that yet. And your blogger doesn't click to anything. So you have a blogger link at the base and it doesn't go to anything. On a social media stance, one, you have to have something other than just products probably to mm -hmm. go to. Um, there isn't a, a quick way to find out what makes you different other than that you're selling stuff. Um, on your f Facebook, I'm just like looking for like an about us other than just what was on the front page. I think it was just on the front page that I yep. read when I was right there. I think right that's it, there. right there at the very and beginning. And now I'm having a hard time getting back to it. it may just be the internet though. It seems like the pictures of you, a little more biography, especially mm -hmm. on the Facebook side and also on your website side, um, interconnecting maybe what you're tweeting and Facebook being on your website, those would be some ideas that I sure. would have. Obviously being on Pinterest, I think you're totally right, maybe they're already on Pinterest, we just couldn't find you quickly because we're doing this Shocked up. We're just looking at what you got going on. Um, for next tip, I would say is make sure that the prices and the interaction are on Facebook and Twitter too, because I mm -hmm. noticed none of those were. Uh, it looks like you have a unique style, some good pictures. A sister is a friend forever, anonymous, and I'm assuming this is the sisters mm -hmm. right in the front. Yeah. Um, sure. But I'd love to know uh, what your names are. Okay, Amber and Emily. I just noticed that. Thank you for visiting our site. Uh, tell a little bit more story. Obviously, yeah. you don't have to put everything out there, but a little bit more about your business story and who you are as people. Uh, you have a unique point of view. You're two sisters working together, and you're saying, hey, we're going to put an e-commerce site together about our special yeah. style. It looks like you have some type of connection with Jessica Simpson and sunglasses. And so that's a fun help and us exciting, know a little more about that's that. a fun and exciting story. So just tell yeah. it. We're just encouraging you to tell it. Yeah. One of the things we always say at Pay Pro Media, and one of my jobs is that we talk about the brand equation, and what we simply say is that story plus marketing plus reputation equals your brand and when I see the two sisters boutique Britannia uh, brand. I see some marketing coming at me. I see some sort of social media marketing, mm -hmm. but I see the lack of depth because I don't quickly understand the story yep, very quickly. Absolutely. I, the name gives me a little bit, but I'd love a little more. And what else, other than just price, because not, you're not always going to win on price, what mm -hmm. else can you win on? And a lot of that is your customer service. A lot of that is why you're doing what you're doing. Tell us more. We'd love yep. to buy from you. Not personally, because being, you're not exactly business, marketing to me. Being a new business, it's a great time to help establish your brand right now. Yep. So uh, those are our fast tips. We just chose three quick business dust and we're out there out of, you know, quickly trying to find. We'll tag you on Facebook and Twitter when we actually put these out here. Uh, we'd love to know what you think. If you if we talked about you today, contact us, interact yeah. with us. I'll offer any of you, because we just threw you under the bus and talked to you, <laughs> I'll give you 30 minutes of my time for free and uh, we'll set up a time and just chat and try to figure out some ways that we can uh, yeah. inspire and help each other. And uh, we love doing that any way we can. Uh, obviously, we're very thankful that you watched and if there's a way you can connect us, you have a question that you want to ask us, you can interact with Dustin at? Yeah, on Twitter at Dustin Hickle or on Google Plus, Dustin Hickle will circle up. Um, at Paypro Media, find me on Twitter there too. I can help answer any questions anywhere. You can always follow the, uh, follow at Salcha on any of the platforms, especially mm -hmm. active on Twitter and at NK Manians. My personal account would love to connect with you on Twitter. Uh, you can find me in any other places too. I've actually been on Facebook today. Look at you! Shocking. You are on uh, Facebook. We won't say that that was just a little bit of a little joke, but who knows? All right, thanks for watching. Form me a social media conversation. We'll see you next time.